Good morning, LJH. You're tuning into Storm TV. This is Devontae alongside Amber with your LJH News this morning. We would like to thank and welcome our sponsor today, First Source Bank. First Source Bank offers a variety of products and services, including consumer and business loans, home mortgages, insurance, and trust investments, and both consumer and business deposit accounts. We even have an account for you. Stop by with your parent or guardian to open e-student checking and savings today. You will be welcomed by knowledgeable bankers that will get you started on the right foot. We have fast, friendly CSRs that are here to help. You will have access through your account to an ATM or debit card, and of course, online and mobile banking are included. Please stop by and see us at 315 North Michigan Street. Thanks, Thanks First Source Bank. First Source Bank, your partner from the first. Good morning, LJH. We are back with another Money Minute segment with Mrs. Overmeyer from First Source Bank. Hello, everyone. The holidays are just around the corner, and many of you might be receiving the best gift of all cold hard cash. There's one important rule to remember when you're receiving a paycheck, a gift, or any other source of income. Pay yourself first. It's recommended that you hold back at least 10% of your income and place it in a savings account or an investment for yourself. So that $100 you receive from Grandma Martha, don't spend it all, save $10 back. It's never too early to start saving and starting in early will benefit you in the future. Have a great Thanksgiving and we'll see you in two weeks. Thanks, Connor. Thank you, Ms. Omar, for another Money Minute segment. Today is National Fast Food Day. National Fast Food Day is observed annually on November 16th. On this day each year, people all across the country celebrate by going through the drive-thru, dining inside, or ordering their fast food to go. First popularized in the United States in the 1950s, fast food is considered any meal with low preparation time and served to a customer in a packaged form for a quick dine-in, takeout, or takeaway and typically with the drive through Let's move on to our Storm TV weather, LGH Cafe menu, and campus news for an update. Good morning, Lincoln. Welcome back to Storm TV weather. Today will be a high of 46 with a low of 34 with 10% chance of rain. Tomorrow will be a high of 53 and a low of 40 and rainy. This weekend will be in the 30s and 40s, and now on to Devante for our weather fact. Thanks, Zach. As you watch the skies outside, waiting for the first snowflakes to descend from the clouds, you close your eyes to enjoy the sense of quiet and peace that usually precedes the snow. Suddenly, however, you sense a bright flash followed by a loud boom. What's going on here? It's thunder snow. Thanks for watching, Lincoln. See you Monday. Welcome back to our lunch segment for the day. Tomorrow for breakfast we are serving cinnamon Texas toast, cereal, fruit, and juice. On Friday for our, our very own lunch, Cafe is serving mini corn dogs, baked beans, baby carrots with ranch, and a fruit of choice. Now on to Alexa. Bienvenido al nuevo segmento del almuerzo para el día. Mañana para el desayuno estamos sirviendo pan de canela, cereal, fruta y fujo. El viernes para el almuerzo estamos sirviendo mini corn dogs, frijoles, zanahorias y frutas de elección. Thanks for watching, LJH. Welcome back to Birthdays with Cooper and Amber. First, we forgot a name on Tuesday, so happy belated birthday to Mackenzie Wireman. Today we have Autumn Baird and Sydney Melendez. Tomorrow, Rafael Nito and Chloe Holton are celebrating their birthdays. We are happy to announce that Dakota Dollar Height, Luis Herrera, Malaya LaForce, and Alex Vexo have birthdays on Saturday. To begin the week on Sunday, Rachel Ray will be celebrating her birthday. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> Thanks, Lunch and Weather Team. Let's begin with our LGH News. It's official. The Politics Club will be meeting every Wednesday until 4 p.m. in Room 109. Anyone is welcome to attend. Congratulations to the following students who performed in the IBA All Region Honor Band this past weekend. Lucas Record, Romina Navajar, William Kingston, Claudia Kelly, and Joel Carter. 
Students, shop with a cop will continue through next Tuesday, November 21st. Before school and at lunch, shop with a cop flyers will be sold for $1 each. The goal is to fill a large wall space in the cafeteria with shop with a cop flyers. Flyers will be sold $1 each. For every $1 donated, students will sign the flyer to hang on the wall and get their name entered in a drawing to win a lunch with the principals to Pizza Hut. Today on Campus News, we will see highlights from last night's boys basketball game, learn how to make Rice Krispie and Oreo turkey legs, and check out the bowling skills of LJH students, plus more. Stay tuned. Now into our world news with Eric and Michael. Good morning, LJH. This is Michael bringing you your LJH world news this morning. Attorney General Jeff Sessions could face heat from both sides of the aisle Tuesday in a widely anticipated appearance before the House lawmakers that comes just hours after he revealed that he has ordered top prosecutors to look into certain issues involving the Clinton Foundation and the controversial sale of American uranium interests into Russia. Thanks for watching, LJH. bowling is trying to get a strike or a spare. A strike is where you get all the pins down the first time. A spare is when you get all the pins down the second time. So what do you think the hardest part about bowling is? It's trying to get the accuracy to try and trying to get the strike. Okay. Do you consider yourself a good bowler? Sometimes. It's more, I really just feel like it, and I'm like ahead of the curve. Okay. What do you feel like your team will win this bowling tournament? Yes, I do feel like my group will win this bowling. Tournament. Thank you for your time. LGH, it's Vandalin and Leah back with trivia time. Last week's winner was Dawson Stutler. Dawson won a certificate from La Dessert Cafe. La Dessert Cafe is one of our very own Storm TV sponsors here at Lincoln. Dawson, to claim your prize, come see Mrs. Neidlinger in room 105. This week's question is in what decade did both the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and America's Thanksgiving Parade start? In order to submit your answer, go to LJH Digital Storm website under the A&E tab and submit your answer. Again, in what decade did both the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and America's Thanksgiving Parade start? Have a great day! Hey Leah, have you done your, your dollar for Shop with the Cop yet? What's Shop with the Cop? Before school and at lunch, Shop with the Cop flyers will be sold for a dollar each. The goal is to fill a whole wall space in the cafeteria with Shop with the Cop flyers. I'm on my way to go hang mine up right now. I will have to bring in a dollar tomorrow. For every one dollar donated, students will sign the flyer to hang on the wall and get their names entered in a drawing to win a lunch with the principals to Pizza Hut. Wow, I really hope I'm the chosen one. When does this end? It goes on from November 14th to November 21st.
Welcome back to Sports Corner for the start of winter sports. Over the weekend, Lincoln Junior High uh, seventh grade boys traveled to Chesterton Middle School and the battle of their four-way tourney opened up the 2017 and 2018 season. The boys played in New Prairie in the opening game. The Red Storm won 38-25. In the championship game, Lincoln Red Storm played host Chesterton Middle School. Chesterton scored the go-ahead basket with three seconds left to go and was not able to answer, and Lincoln was not able to answer. The Lincoln Red Storm got their first loss of the season, 25-23. In the third game of the season, the seventh grade Lincoln Red Storm traveled to, to, to Bremen to take on the Lions. After a slow start the, to the game, the Red Storm finished with a 33-11 victory over Bremen. Nolan Bales led the Red Storm with eight points, Davis Ray chipped in six, Easton Strain added seven, Kevin Holmes scored five, Brock Jensen scored four, Roman Seneker and Timmy Wakeland both added a basket as well. The seventh grade looks to continue their success on Wednesday when they host Tippie Valley. Lincoln eighth grade boys basketball team traveled at Bremen to open up their season against the Bremen Lions. The boys battled hard but came up short against the Lions with the final score of 32-28. Colin Chupp led the team with 11 points with Seth Mills adding 6 points, David Shattuck with 5, Connor DeLee with 4, and Logan Walters with 2. The whole team put forward a strong defensive effort. The Red Storm 8th grade team will be back in action against Tippy Valley on Wednesday. Let's take a look at the 7th grade highlights from last night. good tonight. Um, I think we need to improve our, on our defensive intensity and scoring inside the paint and stuff. So I think we did overall, we fought back and stuff. So I thought we did pretty good. Hi, I'm here with Connor Smithland. How do you think the game will go tonight? Uh, I, think they, I think we'll win tonight because just based on last year, we beat them in the This is Ben and Colin with the NFL segment on Sports Corner. The Colts played the Steelers on Sunday in Indianapolis and jumped out to a lead 17-3. Jacoby Brissett threw a 6-yard touchdown pass to Dante Moncrief and a 61-yard touchdown pass to Chester Rogers. The Steelers came back, though, and tied it at 17 and were able to put together a game-winning drive to set up the game-winning field goal to win 20-17. The Colts fall at 3-7 and will be at home against the Titans next Sunday at 1. The Bears were in action against their division rival, the Green Bay Packers, on Sunday. The Packers took a 10-6 lead at halftime and were able to pull away in the second half and win 23-16. Mitchell Trubisky threw for 297 yards and one touchdown in the Bears' loss. The Bears dropped a 3-6 on the year and will face the Lions at home next Sunday at 1. Thanks for watching. We will see you next Thursday. Thank you to our sponsor for today, First Source Bank. Don't forget our words of wisdom for today. Step by step, one can ascend the stairs. Let's take a look at our lighter side segment for today.
We're your anchors, Caleb and Logan from Storm TV. Have a great weekend. We will see you Monday.